Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Friday, September 17th. Today, the Universal Church honors St. Robert Bellarmine. He was a Jesuit who was ordained in the year 1570, and he would eventually be known for his intelligence and his life of holiness. Because St. Robert's works on theology became the foundation for the Church's continuing of continuing reforms in light of the Protestant Reformation. St. Robert would eventually be made a cardinal by Pope Clement VIII on the grounds that he had not equal for his learning. But he truly was a shining light in Rome because while he was in the Vatican as a cardinal, St. Robert relaxed none of his former austerities and he limited his household expenses to what was barely essential eating only the food that was available to the poor. He was also known to have ransomed a soldier who deserted from the army, and he used the wall hangings in his rooms to clothe the poor people, remarking, the walls wouldn't catch a cold. After his canonization in 1930 by Pope Pius XI, he was named a doctor of the church because of his contributions to the Catholic faith and his help in reforming the church. The gospel passage chosen for today's feast comes to us from the seventh chapter of St. Matthew's gospel. It reads, Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did I not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act to them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed, and it was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as their scribes. With the terrible hurricanes that the United States went through this summer, it might be that this gospel passage has brought some specific images to mind while you were listening to it. But regardless of our experiences of storms, we can see how this image of the gospel gives us an idea on how our lives need to be set solidly upon faith. That there is many things that happen around us each and every day. But again, we have to have lives set on the solid foundation of faith. So maybe there's some questions we can ask ourselves. What is the foundation of my life? What provides me strength in the midst of challenges and frustrations? What helps me to move through difficulties, to endure the challenges? And depending on those answers, we may have some work to do. Maybe we are not to the point yet where we trust God in all things and our lives are set solidly on faith. But the more and more, brothers and sisters, we can focus on doing the will of God the Father and following his Son, Jesus Christ, we will receive grace upon grace to endure whatever may come our way. St. Robert Bellarmine and all the saints model this reality for us because each of them in their own unique way, established their lives on the foundation of faith. And they dedicated their lives to ensuring that they were serving Jesus Christ in everything they said and did. The challenge for you and me is to have that same solid foundation of faith and then striving to do God's will in our lives by loving him and loving others. So as we continue living our lives, Let us pray that we continue to move more and more towards having 
a foundation of our lives built on Christ. And then his strength, his peace, his love will help us to endure whatever may come our way. St. Robert Bellarmine and Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.